Hello, I'm Alex and I'll be your host for this series as we dig into the fundamentals of horror. To start, you might have a few questions such as, why do I care what your opinion of horror is? And why make a series on horror in the first place? Well, for the first question, I can only answer that I'm an avid horror fan. I've been watching horror films, reading and writing horror stories, and playing horror video games for, well, since I was in elementary school. I'm also currently working with a team developing a horror video game if you're at all swayed by appeals to authority. Really though, I'm just a writer who's fascinated by horror and likes to spend his time dissecting things at length. As to the question of why make the series though, that's a bit more complicated. Essentially, I've spent the past decade or so struggling to get a grasp on what makes so-called good horror. As a writer, I've stumbled my way through the genre, getting criticism and feedback from different folks and figuring out what does and doesn't work. That's really a pain in the ass though, so I wanted to make a series compiling what I've learned so far so that other writers don't have to dig around in the muck as much as I've had to. But surprisingly enough, there's not a lot of resources telling you how to make effective horror. Not like there are for so many other genres, at least. Mostly, it's been left up to this vague idea that horror is good if you leave the cinema scared. But that doesn't help writers and directors or game designers at all, does it? The best it can do is tell them whether or not they've made a trash product and offer no real suggestions for how to improve it or how to start in a better place. So that's really the gist of it. I basically want to make a guide for people picking up the horror genre and trying to figure out what the best path forward is. So to start, we have to define what good horror is. And to do that, we have to define the purpose of horror, right? So essentially, horror is good if and only if it achieves whatever goal is the objective of horror. So why do people consume horror content? That's a hard question to answer, and one that scientists are still puzzling over. But generally, we associate negative emotions with horror. Uh, so when we think of horror, we think of fear, you know, terror, disgust, revulsion, tension, etc., etc. So why do we put ourselves through it? In our normal lives, we avoid these prompters at all costs, and yet we willingly buy tickets and games and books to experience those exact same things. Well, why? I'm of the mind that it's an evolutionary bias. Essentially, we've eliminated almost all the stressors that have plagued our ancestors. Ironic though it is to say, considering the uh, current COVID epidemic, but we've developed vaccines, uh, medicines, weapons, and shelters to protect ourselves and almost anything that can threaten us. I mean, we're still in trouble if we go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a grizzly bear, but we've also developed a societal system, so we very rarely have to test that fact. Essentially, we've removed the reality of our stressors, and so now we're turning to simulacra to fill in the gaps. See, our, our brains are wired like any other animal, in that we have a strong negative bias. Uh, we detect negative changes and threats very easily, or at least more easily than we do positive things in life. And, and we do that to protect ourselves because when we were in more natural settings and faced with predators and plagues and such, uh, we had to detect those negative things quickly to be able to run away from them. So by removing our negative influences though, we've made ourselves hypersensitive to all the negative bits and bobs we encounter in our nice and comfortable lives. Now, our brains also know that they don't want to be hypersensitive, so they seek ways to replace that stress. And this leads us to watch sad movies, uh, you know, ride roller coasters, go hunting, and you guessed it, watch horror movies. So we can draw from this the goal that horror movies are supposed to make us feel negative emotions. The stronger those negative emotions, the better the piece of horror content. Uh, and with that in mind, uh, I invite you to join me next time as I talk about what negative emotions specifically horror is supposed to evoke. Because, of course, we don't want to just uh, be in evoking any negative emotion. We want it to be very targeted and specific.